Welcome back, folks. Today, I'm excited to share something truly special with you. Most of you probably don't know this, but I'm a big fan of Disney princesses, and I'm not ashamed to admit that. And with a daughter of my own, I've become somewhat of an expert on the subject. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my Disney princess tier list. Let's dive in. All right, first up, we have Moana. Moana, I'll give you a solid A tier. You have a cool grandma who hangs out with stingrays. You sailed across the ocean, fought a lava monster, and restored the heart of Te Fiti. Moana, you're like Saul. You both know how to navigate a tricky situation and make the most out of a bad deal. Next, we have Aurora, AKA Sleeping Beauty. Sorry, Aurora, but you're a D tier princess. I mean, come on, you just sleep through the entire movie. That's like watching paint dry or Walter Jr. eat breakfast. Moving on, we have Belle. I'd say Belle is definitely an A tier princess. She's smart, independent, and doesn't take crap from anyone. I also give her props for being able to see past the beast's exterior and fall in love with him. Just like how I saw the potential in Jesse and brought him into the business. Next, we have Tiana. I have to say Tiana is an S tier princess for me. She's hardworking, determined, and knows what she wants. Plus, she's got some amazing cooking skills. Definitely better than Gus Fring's cooking skills. Up next is Cinderella. I know she's a classic princess, but sorry, Cinderella, you're a C tier princess for me. Yeah, you got your prince and all, but you're just a little too nice and passive for my taste. She basically just waits around for someone to save her. That's like being a damsel in distress or relying on your brother-in-law to launder your drug money. Next, we have Elsa. I know a lot of people love Elsa, but she's only a B-tier princess for me. She's powerful, but a bit too aloof for my taste. She did freeze the entire kingdom too. That wasn't very cool. She could have at least cooked them some crystal blue ice. Okay, now we have Mulan. Mulan, you're an S-tier princess. No question about it. You disguised yourself as a man to fight for your country. You saved the emperor and you got the hot guy in the end. She's also the only Disney princess I could see taking on the cartel and coming out on top. What's not to love? Moving on, we have Pocahontas. Pocahontas is a C tier princess for me. Yeah, she talked to a tree and all, but she also fell for John Smith. She basically falls in love with a guy who's there to take her land. Not worth it in my opinion. Just like Jessie falling for Jane, even though she's a junkie. Next, I'll do Merida. Merida, you're an A-tier princess. You're a skilled archer. You fought for your own hand in marriage, and you mended your relationship with your mom. Plus, she's got some killer red hair. I heard that Eisenberg has some killer hair, too. Next is Anna. I give her a B-tier. She's got spunk and determination. I'll give her that but her impulsiveness and naivety has sometimes gotten her into trouble. She's like Jessie, but with less meth. Her singing voice is all right, but it doesn't match up with other princesses. Next up, we have Ariel. Sorry, Ariel, but you're an F-tier princess for me. She gives up her voice and leaves her family for a guy she's never even met. She reminds me of Tuco, always making bad decisions for love. Next, we have Jasmine. Jasmine. I'd say you're a B-tier princess. You have spunk, and you stood up for yourself against your father and Jafar. You're sassy and independent, but a bit too impulsive at times. She also has a pet tiger, which is pretty cool, but it's no giant magnet, if you know what I mean. Okay, Rapunzel's next. Rapunzel, I'll give you an A-tier. You have healing hair. You stood up to Mother Gothel. You know how to handle a frying pan. And you even got Flynn Rider to change his ways. Plus, you have a chameleon for a pet. Can't beat that. Last but not least, we have Snow White. She's a D-tier princess for me. She sang with some animals and then fell asleep. Not exactly what I call a heroine. Multiple sources online also say that in the movie she's 14 years old. The prince is definitely over 18 years old. Kind of suspicious if you ask me. She reminds me of Badger, always singing and falling asleep on the job. All right, that's it for my Disney princess tier list. 
I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.